Yo, what's going on everybody? This is uh, How to Get the Vocals Right in Mixcraft Pro Studio 9. This is a follow-up video from the last tutorial I posted on how to get the vocals right in Mixcraft Pro Studio 8. But as you can see, we done upgraded, baby. We done, we done, we done took it to, to a whole new level out here. Feel me? Um, also, I really appreciate y'all for the last video. I was not expecting to get that many views. So I hope, you know, I was able to help all you people out there, all you artists, all you independent, <clears throat> excuse me, all you independent, uh, you know, rappers and singers out there. Hope your music is sounding better. Hope you, you know, improving your skills. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I made the video. So, you know, we coming back at it again. Again, it's Mixcraft Pro Studio 9. I'm going to let y'all hear a preview of this song first before we get into the tutorial. This is called If They Try to Play Me, which is actually available everywhere right now. So, yeah. I, I remember as a young nigga, felt like everybody had it better than me. Mama was working, three different jobs. She was still barely making ends meet. And most of my homies, by the age of 16, were getting money in the street. Don't gotta lie, I was never outside and I was never in the beat. But still, I'm a real nigga. And hey, fuck it, if you don't let me, we don't gotta speak. I know some niggas that caught him a body, but. So, yeah, sounds good, right? Sounds good, sounds clean. Um, not a lot of harshness going on. Just a really good, clean vocal. And that's why I'm here to help you all, show you all how to do that. So first things first, um, I'm going to show you, this is like the secret sauce. <laughs> it's like the secret sauce right here, okay? Go down here, you click on mixer, come down here, scroll down, and you want to adjust the highs, the mids, and the lows. Now everybody's voice is different, you know, everybody's tone is different and things like that so this is just a reference point that you can use i put the low on negative 8.7 boosted the mids just a little bit at 1.4 and the highs you know i turned it up a lot to about 9.3 because you know that's what gives my voice my you know unique uh individual voice that crispiness you know what i'm saying so that's a little secret i just gave y'all so i hope y'all appreciate it so yeah, let's get into this, man. And I'm gonna go quick, I'm gonna go fast. You know, just like last time, you know, we don't do too much talking over here, we just put that work in. So, uh, yeah, first things first, TB parametric equalizer. Number one, see the frequency, the gain, and the factor there. Number two, again, you'll just have to adjust everything accordingly to your voice, but I'm just showing y'all a reference point you can use with my vocals see if this is on negative 3.2 I brought that down because this is where a lot of uh, muddiness is at in these frequencies between like 500 to about 2k 2 3k it's where a lot of muddiness is at you know so you don't you want to make sure you know vocals just sound clean you don't want it to sound like um, like you're on a phone you know you don't want it to sound like you're underwater you want it to be you know clean next step is acoustic compressor uh, my computer okay here we go pretty much the same as last time I think I think I changed a few things but yeah that's what I use then classic compressor I um, I use pre mastering which is a uh, you know uh, effect that you know comes with it but I do adjust it I do adjust it a little bit so you can kind of see just copy my levels and you know that's my sound you know hope y'all can see all of that got it da -da 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 -da. classic EQ I use full reset right which is already in here but I adjust it, um, as you can tell, I adjust it, you know, to my liking. I took out the saturation. Again, everybody's voice is different, so just use everything you see as a reference point, you know. Don't think you're about to just slap all of this on your song and you're going to sound just like me because everybody sounds different. Um, Auto-Tune Evo, that's something you have to 
go on YouTube and type in Auto Tune Evo free download. There's a bunch of tutorials on how to download this for free. Because I downloaded this for free. I did not pay for it. You know? And yeah, you have to go on YouTube and figure that out. Excuse me. Then uh, TBDSer. You know? It takes out all that tss, tss, and all them P's and all that popping noise, popping noise and all that harshness out of your vocals. So it can get a good, clean, crispy sound. Because even if you got bars, even if you, you know, you rap like Nas, nobody wants to listen to a song that, you know, is not, um, you know, pleasing to the ear. You know, you got to pass the ear test first, you know. That's why you got a lot of dudes out here popping and that music ain't even all of that, but they vocals sound good. So, you know. So that was reverb. This is a delay. You can see. Of course, the time is always going to be different. This uh, level, I keep it pretty low. You don't have to use that, you know. You don't have to use that. You can turn it off if you want to, but I like it. All that does is just kind of... I can't even explain what it really does, but... When you're in the middle of mixing and you got your headphones on, you can hear it. So yeah, that was delay. What we got next is auto filter. I use a high pass filter. This gives my vocals like a good crispiness to it. Put the frequency on 1000. Turn the reason all the way down. The effect is on like 50-50, but you know, sometimes that gets more over here, more over there, you know, adjust the levels. I don't ever touch anything down here because it's good, you know. Then a classic chorus. This is my own effect. You know, as you see, I called it spread because that's what it does. It spreads the vocals and gives it like an even sound in the left and the right and in the middle, you know, when you're listening to the headphones, you know. So just copy my effects you see there. Right, and I had another classic chorus. You don't have to use this. I used it for this song. Um, I honestly forgot why, because I recorded this song like um, a couple weeks ago. So, you know, since then I've done a lot more. So, kind of forgot why I added this, but yeah, you can use it. You know, then master limiter. You know. And yeah, oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, it's very, very important that, you know, all your vocal effects is in this order. And shout out to the person that pointed that out in my last video. I was kind of salty, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was lightweight salty when I first read it. Then I was like, you know what, he has a point, you know, because I had my compressor before my equalizer. And he said something else about my reverb, but I, I don't know. But yeah, make sure it's in this order. Equalize, compressor, compressor, equalize, auto tune, deesser, reverb, delay, high pass filter, um, vocal effect, vocal effect, and master limiter. And yeah, once you do all of that, vocals should be sounding clean and crispy. And there's a part two to this video on how to actually master your vocals. So I'm gonna leave the link to that video in the description, as well as a link where you know you can find all my music, you know and my merch store and all of that good stuff um yeah so hopefully this was you know helpful to you all and i'd love to hear some you know positive feedback and you know if you want to leave a link to your music in the description go ahead you know and uh with that being said i'm out of here peace holla